Welcome into the Chiefs Report. I am your host, Harrison Graham, still celebrating the Super Bowl victory, but got some 2020 free agency rumors today focused around Chris Jones, the Chiefs star defensive tackle. Look, we all know this, except for free agency, Chiefs have a lot of decisions. Patrick Mahomes extension, what do you do with Sammy Watkins? Well, the latest is that the Chiefs do want to keep Chris Jones and keep him on a long-term deal. That is the preferred outcome for Kansas City. But can the Chiefs pay him top dollar? Because when you look at the highest cap hits heading into 2024 Kansas City, you got Frank Clark, who's on that defensive line at 22.7. Sammy Watkins, who we've talked about a lot at $21 million, he's almost certainly going to have to take a pay cut if he wants to return next season. Tyreek Hill over $17 million. Tyron Matthew over $16. You got Eric Fisher making almost $15 million against the cap in 2020. So we all want to keep Frank Clark, but how much is he going to get? That is the question we want to know. Your general manager, you're making the calls. How much are you willing to pay Chris Jones per year? He's in that 18 to 22 range. I think 22 is the ceiling per year, 18 is the floor. How much are you willing to pay? Over, under $20 million per year. Type O for over, type U for under. Play, G, play Chiefs GM for me and let me know in the comments section. All right, guys, we launched our Chiefs channel in the fall, trying to ramp up our off-season coverage. Let's get to 1,000 subs by the end of February. Hey, you got an extra day this year. It is leap year, so you got February 29th, so less than three weeks. Just crossed the 600 subscriber mark. Let's get to 1,000 by the end of the month. Chassforce.com slash Chiefs. Once you get over to that channel, it'll redirect you to the Chiefs channel. Just hit the big red subscribe button. We'll have videos all off-season long. Draft targets, free agency, Mahomes and Chris Jones is certainly going to be a focus. We will have it all here on the Chiefs Report. Now, we all want to keep Chris Jones, and for good reason, because he might be a top three defensive tackle in the NFL. For me, he's as good as it gets outside of Aaron Donald with the Rams. He's in a league of his own. But the last couple of years, 24 and a half sacks, that's terrific for a defensive tackle. And nine sacks this year in just 13 games, transitioning from a 3-4 to a 4-3. I thought he was really good this year. The second half of the Super Bowl, he was a game changer in engineering the Chiefs' comeback and getting those key stops. I want to keep Chris Jones. I'd like to get a long-term deal done just going to be hard to do so if you want to watch how or what the three options are for the Chiefs regarding Chris Jones go to our Chiefs channel chatsports.com slash Chiefs that video is already up for you guys now speaking of you Chiefs fans I've ordered a ton of this gear and I'm still celebrating like I mentioned Chiefs Super Bowl gear on sale the stuff is slowly starting to fly off the shelves so take advantage of it today t-shirts hats hoodies all kinds of stuff chatsports.com slash Chiefs SB. We'll have the link in the comments. The link will be in the description. It'll make it easy for you guys. Go order this stuff right now before it's too late. Get that Chiefs Super Bowl gear and brag to your friends like I do here in the chat sports office. I'm wearing this stuff all the time and they're still pissed off because the Chiefs won the Super Bowl and their team did not. Chatsports.com slash Chiefs SB. That is the place to go to get all of this stuff on sale. Now last offseason it was reported after Frank Clark signed his contract with the Kansas City Chiefs after the uh, after the trade with Seattle that this is what uh, Chris Jones wanted somewhere in this range and this is what Clark got five years 104 million almost 21 per year over 62 million guaranteed that is what Chris Jones wanted now do I think he's worth more than Frank Clark probably but I don't know if the Chiefs can afford to give him this much because of the other contracts they have on this roster so what do you think the Chiefs will do with Chris Jones, type T for tag him, type C S for sign him to a long term to a long term deal, type W for walk, just let him go. That's obviously a long shot. I think at minimum they're going to tag him. They could tag and trade him, which is an option as well. But I think the most likely scenario is they're going to tag him, and he's going to play under the tag this season. I want I want the Chiefs to sign him. I hope they can make something work out. But there's a lot of contracts to consider when the Chiefs enter this free agency period, which is less than, or just over a month away. So let me know what you guys think on that front. Plus, when you factor in Patrick Mahomes, who's due for a record-setting extension, that weighs in as well. I didn't even mention him on the highest cap hits because he hasn't gotten his extension yet. Now they can they can uh, do it where he only is 11 or 12 million against the cap this year, like the Eagles did with Carson Wentz, like the Rams did with Jared Goff. But 2021, you sign Chris Jones with a big deal. Patrick Mahomes, his cap hits like 35, 40 million against you. It's 
hard to make that work. So uh, Pat Mahomes' extension comes into play here as well. Hopefully everything can work out and Chris Jones can get signed to a long-term deal. Thank you so much for watching the Chiefs report. If you want to know the three realistic options for the Chiefs regarding what they can do with Chris Jones this offseason, watch this video right here. Plus, if you want Chiefs videos all offseason long, I'm talking draft, free agency, the latest rumors, news, possible trades, hit this subscribe button right here. Let's get to 1,000 subs on the Chiefs report by the end of the month. Go Chiefs.